My name is Debbie Mincer, and the artist Daniel Mincer was my brother. He uh, worked in several media, including oil, batik, and made a voluminous amount of art in his sh uh, short life. He died young at the age of 27 from a congenital disease. After my mother died and we split Daniel's artwork among various households, I had been thinking about long term what we would do with all of his artwork. Um, when I saw this article about Popa, I called them and it looked like, it just sounded like a perfect fit for, for us because I wanted to preserve his art at least digitally so that everyone anywhere could look at his art. In setting up the portfolios, whenever I ran into problems, I would contact the concierge services and they were very helpful um, every step of the way and as soon as I learned how to do it, it was quite easy. Um, we photographed all of his artwork, as I, it was in eight different households. We then went through all the art, gave it titles where he hadn't given titles. For most of the artwork, we invented the titles. We um, measured the dimensions of each piece of art, and we developed three portfolios, one for still lifes, one for batiks, and one for uh, people that were based mainly on photographs. My favorite part was doing the detective work to figure out whether he had given titles to these paintings to try to write the biography of him and piece together what I knew in terms of his art studies and his style. So I learned a lot in the process. My mother, who died in 2013, would have been absolutely thrilled. She had tried to do a similar non-digital thing in the decades back to photograph all of his art, and I kind of finished this project for her, and I think she would have loved it. I really enjoyed it. It was so, um, it was emotional for me, but it was really rewarding. And I was, the only thing that made me sad was that he couldn't know that this artwork would be displayed. In fact, when he was alive, there was no internet or digital photography, so he would have been amazed at this. And I feel that he was so talented, and I am biased, but I also feel that his work deserved to be seen.